Hey guys, so I'm going to go over my five cards I love, love to pick up right now and what you should be picking up this week in trade. A little bit different, I honestly could have made a video of each of these, but it would take me forever to pull all the cards I had out of each. And I know you guys like to see a lot of cards, but instead we're going to do this. Uh, number five, Voice. Um, you guys know I am a big fan of this card. The card is extremely low right now. I like it, I like it, I like it. Uh, the reason I like it is because it does something that green and white don't, does not do so well. It pretty much counters counter spells. So instants or because you get tokens and your tokens honestly sometimes are better than the creature itself. The creature itself is excellent and should it you know die you get another creature to replace it. So it's a very good trade-off. It does have a home already. It has the home in the pod decks. Uh, it's tremendous value in pod, uh, especially the combo decks where you need to preserve your life. Uh, this helps with it and helps you get what the cards you need. So Voice of Resurgence, uh, I've always liked this card from the very first time I saw it, saw the call card. I have loved it and you know that hasn't changed. Mutavolt. Uh, Mutavolt is extremely cheap right now for what it is. So Mutavolt is very tribal and it was like, like a land that we just talked about. Uh, will Mutavolt be in Modern Masters 2015? And again, all five of these cards are going to be safe for Modern Masters 2015. And they're pretty much you know, ideal, ideal places to trade into, to store your value, and not have to worry about Modern Masters 2015. One of the biggest questions I got from you guys this week was, you know, uh oh, this is coming, how should we act? And I always want you guys to be proactive and not reactive. So if you can trade into these five cards, uh, that they are very safe places to put your speculations as were the rest of the cards this week. Mutavolt, very good. Uh, Geist. Geist also is not going to be reprinted. Well, Mutavolt is the only one in this set that can be reprinted in Modern Masters 2015, but I really don't expect it to be. Geist is a very, very good card. Um, Geist is one of the most aggressive cards I've ever seen. Uh, the only downfall is it is a legendary creature, so you can't stack multiples of them. But it ends a game like so fast and when you're playing storm or ascendancy so you're not playing the token version of ascendancy you're playing the one that's a little faster well this beats them because it presents a clock that they cannot race against so geist is very good against some decks but very bad against other decks it's definitely not very good against a extremely aggro deck but Against other decks where they're pretty much just trying to combo and win the game, Geist ends the game before they can do that. There's a lot of damage really fast. Now, Snapcaster Mage. I don't need to talk about this guy. This guy is very, very good in all formats. He's extremely uh, versatile. He will only get better in time as long as there's more and more spells with instants sorceries anything that he can play it's just going to get a lot better but i still like snap into cryptic or snap into a uh, lightning bolt or snap into path it only gets better when very when better instance and sorceries get print re, uh, printed or uh new ones come out i don't know this card is insanely good now my number one pick is going to surprise a lot of you it is this card. Uh, why do I like this card so much? Um, I honestly don't own, own as many copies of this card as I do the other cards this week, and I don't know why. I have a feeling that I do own a lot of them, but they are like in storage because I can't not find that many of them. Uh, honestly, I can't even find a place out of them, which worries me somewhat. But this is a card that I can get behind. It is a card that only has one white symbol in it that makes a t big big difference it already has a home birthing pod but its home is pretty much a crappy home right now because delver is just beating it down 
Should Treasure Cruise be banned, this card will go up in price. This card, again, cannot be reprinted. It is an extremely powerful card. The difference uh, and the reason it's number one comes down to a simple Rhino. It pairs amazingly with the Rhino card that's dominating modern. Like, it's so insane for me to say that, but Siege Rhino is a modern card. And this card is good with Siege Rhino. I mean, you instant speed, you can take down a blocker, you can save your Rhino, you can gain the life. I mean, the Rhino, the fact it does essentially a lightning helix of damage, makes this kind of like Snapcaster Mage with the Rhino in play, except way, way better because it's a bigger body. So Snapcasting a helix would cost you one, a blue, and the helix would have to be in your graveyard. Um, so it's a two card combo. Uh, just like the Rhino and this card is. And it's turn 4. And you get a 2-1 at the end of the table. Left end of the table. Well, with this one, it's a little slower, but you get a 4-5. And you get a 3-4 fly flying flash. So, <laughs> essentially, it's like snap casting a lightning helix from your graveyard. A Rhino on the play, except so much better. Uh... Tremendous amount of value, cannot be reprinted. This card is very, very good.